Merry meet everyone. This is Pushti Shiv Shakti from Goddess Breath and I'm here to give you your weekly reading. So let's start. Monday and Tuesday. It's a six of water. The six of water is here to remind us today that it's okay to accept that we can falter. We are not perfect. We are a work of art and we are in progress. We're not perfect. Okay, we're not completely progressed out and we're not finished. Everything that we do needs to be based in compassion. It will serve us better if it is based in compassion. It is going to be better if we understand that everyone's going to make a mistake once in a while just like we do. But that's all right because it can be corrected and it can be fine. Love, compassion, forgiveness. These are the three most important um, important ideals or important ideas that we've got to work with on Monday and Tuesday. And these are basic ideas on the, on the basic level. Come Wednesday, the same ideals get extremely strong. It's the mother who basically means the very, very same things. She also means nurture and she also means caring. And she also means another woman. She also means a woman who is very creative, very generative, very productive. And someone who either you become or are for someone else. Or someone like this who's going to come into your life or is already there and is finally going to start showing up in this capacity. No matter what it is, you need to accept. And the energies right now are working very strongly with creativity. And if you just pay a little close attention to what you can create, I am very sure you'll realize you are the mother. This mother that I talk about more than anything else. The creativity and the nurture and the care and the love and the giving, the fertility, the fertility of everything that's happening around you right now. Your mind, your ideas, your feelings, your emotions, everything is very fertile. If you tap into it on Wednesday and actually even Monday and Tuesday, you are going to be able to create magic. Really going to be able to create magic. Come Thursday and Friday, there's a word of caution. This is the five of earth. This is almost like being tricked into something that you don't need to be tricked into. There's a little bit of lies and deceit. But the careful part here is that it may be you who's lying and deceiving yourself. It doesn't have to come from another one. I'm not saying it can't come from another one or it cannot. I'm saying that there is a potential that the other one need not even come through because you are doing a very good job of lying and deceiving yourself. It may not be purposeful. You may not think of it and you may not think that, okay, I'm doing this and you know this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to lie and cheat and deceive someone. But just the way you give, make, let's say the way you make excuses. Excuses are bad. Okay. And really good excuses are worse. The idea here is that you need to take a moment to step back and see things for what they really are because someone around you or you are not what you think it is or what you can see it is there is some sort of cheating going on somewhere so i would say double check things before you do things do not sign legal contracts on these days um do not um, you know do not get into a space where you're thinking oh okay okay i can trust this one i can trust that one i can trust i can trust yes you can trust Nobody's saying no. But the fact is you need to be careful. It's a fact. You need to be careful on these two days, Thursday and Friday. But overall, it is a very beautiful, loving and a nurturing week. A week where you nurture yourself, you allow someone else to nurture you and you can also nurture someone else, another. <laughs> it is overall a very, very beautiful uh, week. And finally, the Goddess card. She talks about purification. She says it is time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. So everything that you are doing this week, the love and being careful, is nothing but a detoxification. Because you have to detoxify yourself of pain, hurt, past um, experiences of lack, past experiences of insufficiency, of I am not lovable, I am not worthy of love. All these experiences need to be cleaned out of your body. How you are going to clean them? 
is up to you. A few ways to clean them is start forgiving, start forgiving, start forgiving. Who? Yourself. Just start forgiving yourself. Who else can you forgive? Nobody else is doing anything that they need forgiveness for from you. You invited that into your life, every experience, and start forgiving yourself for inviting that experience. And that is going to be magic for you, right? Uh, On Thursday and Friday, what are you detoxifying from your life? Innocence, to make it pure, you've got to detoxify it. Gullibility, you're going to remove it from your life. You're going to, um, you're going to remove blind faith from your life. You're going to invite thinking, right? And with the body, it's time to do a little, uh, you know, uh, maybe go on a, a juice fast, or maybe just have a little more water. Or um, you know, with the blood, with the blood being so important, take care of your blood this week. Make sure that you have the right kind of. Uh, herbs or right kind of medication if you need it to make sure that your blood is absolutely fine and you're doing good with uh, uh, with the fluids in your body if not blood also the water content of your body some women may get not why only women even men can probably get water retention or um, they could just forget to drink enough water so it's your time this week to make sure that you have enough water enough fluid have enough nutrient in the form of liquid and overall just look at everything that you can be careful about and everything you can add more love to because no matter what you do do it with love do it with absolute and total love have a great weekend you week (laughs) have a great week you guys i'll see you on the weekend love you bye bye